Well, so let us solve one more problem from CSR net June 2023. And this question is basically from nuclear physics. Okay, basically from collective model and that's question ID is 705075. Okay, so in that question that basically the energy and spin parity of excited state of mass number A equals to 152 that is provided. For mass number, nucleus having mass number 152, its energy spin parity for low lying excited state that is mentioned that energy are on 22 for 2 plus state. And then you have for next state, you have energy that is 366 for 4 plus state. And then you have 707 for six plus state and finally we have on on two five for eight plus states okay so these are the energy spin parity for nucleus having mass number on 52 is mentioned now we have to identify this energy levels of this nucleus is corresponds to rotational rotational level having a spherical nucleus or rotational energy level corresponding to deformed nucleus or vibrational level corresponding to spherical nucleus or vibrational energy level corresponding to deformed nucleus. So as you know from that concept of collective model, if you have a nucleus having large size, they can undergo either or they can show either vibrational spectra or rotational spectra. But there's a sharp boundary. If you have a nucleus having mass number less than on on 50, of course, that size should be large. They undergoes or they basically shows vibrational spectra. Or vibrational energy level. Okay. But if you have a nucleus having mass number in the range of 150 to 200 or if you have a nucleus mass number greater than 230, they basically undergoes rotation. So basically they show rotational spectra or rotational level. Okay. So the, 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 of course you can see from there is a sharp boundary that which nucleus is showing vibrational levels and which nucleus are showing rotational levels. Okay. And of course it's experimental fact that this nucleus, nucleus having mass number in this region, they have large quadruple moment. Key means quadruple moment having large value. So large quadruple moment basically signifies that this nucleus are not spherically, uh, uh, this nucleus is not having spherical shape because quadrupole moment is a measure of a deformed shape of nucleus. If Q is zero, it means that shape will be spherical. If you have Q non-zero or quadrupole non-zero, it means basically, basically that nucleus is not spherical. So from this Q value, obtained from experimental result shows that this nucleus is not basically spherical and it's obvious if you think like a nucleus is like a liquid drop if you have big size liquid drop of course that it cannot maintain spherical shape so that's why they have deformed shape and this mass number boundary you can see this mass number belongs to this region so obviously they will show rotational levels it means this energy levels are rotational level and the shape of this nucleus is deformed. So this energy levels are rotational levels with deformed nucleus size. Okay. So according to that given option, option number A or option number 1 will be the correct. Okay. Thank you.